I think everyone used to watch Spongebob as a little kid. And maybe a few of you still enjoy watching it. So probably everybody knows these characters. Spongebob himself of course, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, Plankton, Mrs. Puff, Pearl, Gary and of course a jellyfish. Oh, by the way, I have an idea for a YouTube video in the future. I want to make a series of super cute phone cases from the characters I just named. Let me know what you think if I should make this video or not. But let's get back to this video because I'm going to make a painting of Squidward. What is incredibly iconic about Spongebob isn't just how loud and stupid Spongebob and Patrick are, but it's also about Squidward's moodiness. You remember the scenes where Squidward looks out his window all grumpy and irritated as Spongebob runs in front of his house laughing, or when Squidward refuses to talk to Spongebob because he would like to play some clarinet in peace. Or what do you think of the moment when Squidward and Spongebob are working together at the Krusty Krab? And Squidward gives the orders to Spongebob through the hatch in the to the kitchen. Every time he has this look on his face of pure disappointment. How sick would it be to have a fragment of this scene hanging in your kitchen? To have the feeling that you're being judged by Squidward every time you're cooking. I need to make this. Squidward was never my favorite character when I watched Spongebob as a little kid. He was always so grumpy and was always mean to Spongebob and got annoyed by everything. Every time I saw him I was like, he's such a boring person. But I do have to confess something. Now I'm a little older, not that I'm very old, I mean I'm 23, but now I'm a little older. I kind of start to think Squidward was making sense, like I get why he was getting moody and grumpy about everything. I mean, imagine, you live on your own on a beautiful house, you just like to enjoy some peace and quiet. You do like to enjoy some music, maybe make some music on your instrument, and then this lives next to you. It's not the fact that he lives next to you, but it's the constant laughing, the high-pitched laugh all the time. And then once in a while he comes knocking at your door because he needs attention for whatever reason. But you actually want to just say shut the fuck up and leave me alone. And even when you eventually close the door, just go upstairs to your bathroom to get a nice steamy bath with a lot of bubbles just to relax, just enjoy some peace. And then all of a sudden he is in your bathroom. Like bro, privacy please. Even when you go to work, you are constantly screaming or laughing or singing from the kitchen behind you. Wouldn't you be grumpy? I mean, I would. 
Or is it just a sign that I'm slowly turning into Squidward? actually watched the whole video thank you so much i hope to see you next one have a good week bye bye